by any yardstick, Lockheed Martin's F-16 has been the most successful combat aircraft of the last 20 years. It's the world's most prolific fighter. Over 2,000 serve with the U.S. Air Force. Another 2,000 are used in 19 other countries. Since its introduction in 1979, the F-16 has set the standards against which other fighters are judged. For example, along with its heavier counterpart, the F-15 Eagle, it was the first warplane able to withstand higher G-forces than the pilots. This means outstanding agility. The F-16 has evolved from a fairly simple day fighter into a complex multi-role aircraft. In late 1991, General Dynamics started producing its latest version, the Block 5052 F-16CD. Key improvements included a cockpit compatible with night vision goggles. facility to fire the harm anti-radar missile. The USAF has around 300 Block 5052 F-16s. Around 100 of these have an important defense suppression role and are equipped with the harm targeting system pod. Current orders mean that Lockheed Martin's production of this line will be busy until at least 2009. Many operators, including the United States Air Force, are upgrading their warplanes for continued service. Key new features include improved radar, helmet-mounted queuing systems, and targeting pods that allow delivery of smart weapons. Even though more advanced designs are being developed, the F-16 will remain the cornerstone of world air power for the foreseeable future. Okay, um, today I'm going to be unboxing an F-16C, uh, 144th scale from Revel, same as all the uh, other planes that you'll see on my YouTube page. This is part of the similar series. So, this is the only F-16 I've got. It's not in tiger meat colours, but it's got a nice decal sheet, which is what I like. I like these kits because, one, they're cheap, and two, they're very well detailed, and three, you know, you can't go wrong with the quality you're getting. Nice artwork on this box. I've also finished off a, oh, what was it, an F-18. It's in my bedroom, so we'll, I'll bring that through and show you a showcase of that later. Nice bag of pieces there. Um, Off with the decal sheet. Get rid of the health and safety information. We don't need that. Let's just zoom in on this. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is the decal sheet. For it. Very nice embossed. They're quite thick. These decals compared to most I've seen. But uh, very nice. Instruction manual, let's just zoom out so you can see that. Again, descriptions of the aircraft. A list of the massive armaments this thing has. Very simple to put together. Decal placement sheet for the weaponry. Assembly instructions, pretty straightforward. Showing you to cut certain pieces off for certain different models because they must do more F-16s than this one because it's got an additional sprue in it. Assembly instructions and paint and decal guide. <clears throat> now then, let's get down to the main piece, the actual kit itself. So, pop this bag out of the way. Okay, so this has two sprues. This is the one we actually uh, no, that's the one we don't use for the kit. This one is spare. 
zoom in on this. This is actually a spare piece for the kit. You don't need this. So it's got different tailplane, different engine intake, uh, outtakes on exhaust, different weapons. So this sprue is not needed, so it's spare. Always comes in handy for conversion jobs and stuff. And this is the sprue you use instead for this model kit. So as you see, different tailplane. Completely. I'll put them side by side so you can see. The tailplane is... This is the one we use, this is the one we don't use. The one we don't use has got like a raised part along the bottom, this one's smooth. And then we've got my photo booth starting to singe a bit. Pushed up against the light by accident, never mind. So we've got this cockpit section here, the tail planes, different weapon mounts on that sprue. Weapons for this kit. Majority of weapons are carried by this looks like sidewinders. Canopy. And then the main sprue. That these kits, they've got so fine panel lines on them, it's unbelievable the amount of detail that Revel have put into these. I don't think you can see this very well. Just uh, give me a second. I've got some ink here that I've been using for doing my uh, figures. Maybe you can see it. If I ink them, just give me a second. tells me this isn't working uh, works well for metal models but plastic nah doesn't work oh well Can you see that? There we go. All that nice surface detail on there. Really well done. Um, hats off to Revel for these. So I'll be building this one at some point. So stay tuned to my channel to see more. And until next time, thanks for watching.